Umar, obviously, you know, Utah State, and you guys are both in first place in the Mountain Division. And you, you get the sense that uh, a lot on the line this week? Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it's a lot of urgency. It's championship week. Um, just like last week, we got to be 1 0. Uh, going into the week and not looking forward to any, not looking forward to any other opponent. Um, and Utah State's the only thing that's on our mind that's in front of us right now. I take the bus this week for the big guys. It's the hardest for you guys to travel, probably better on a bus or better on a plane. Whatever they want to do, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's going to be nice. I think they have a setup where each person is going to have their own row, regardless on the bus, too. So, I mean, the seating will be fine. It'll be a little longer, but it, it's fine. Get a little more There's space to move around, at least. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, you look at their defense on, on tape. What's the, you know, what's the thing stands out? They got good motors. They're, uh, they play hard. They don't, they go from whistle to whistle. Um, very physical. They mix up these blitzes, these crazy blitzes. So, we have to do a great job communicating and just identifying they got some really good players on that defense. I know uh, you guys kind of get it every week with, with sort of the target on your back, but, but that program is one that certainly has you guys in their sights uh, for, from the way things have gone the last few years. You, you expect that this week? I mean, just like us, we're in their way to win an amount of Wisconsin championship, just like they're in our way. They're our next, next team that we got to play next uh, opponent we have to get to be able to get to our goal. And I'm sure their goal is to win the Mountain Wisconsin championship as well. And I can see we got a big target on our back because they have to beat us in, a, in order to win the Wisconsin Championship. Did you play in that game two years ago? No, I didn't. Okay. Did you go down there? Yeah. Okay. It's a little, a little different stadium. In, I mean, it's kind of the way it's built in yeah, there, it's and it's going to be big, but it's, it's a great atmosphere. Yeah. Those fans, they got a really good fan base, so we got to, you know, control their noise with the fans and not let that be a problem. Got some good momentum offensively the last few weeks. Yeah, what's, we what's happened to kind of get things clicking for you guys on offense? I mean, we just start fast. Just get it going, you know, we're not having three and outs to start in games and just being able to get in a rhythm and then we're good. I mean, once you get in a rhythm and once we start executing, you know, we're hard to stop. Now, last year, the offensive line, it really kind of got clicking around the middle of the season and, and you guys finished really strong. You, yeah. you feel like you're kind of headed in that direction again this year? Yeah, but uh, we got a lot of work to do. I mean, just still nowhere close. I know the line still has a lot of work to do, clean up the details, communicating better. Um, Making sure Rippin gets hit less. He's been taking too many hits. Help the tailbacks. He's got a young class of tailbacks, so we got to help them out. You know, making sure that we can help them keep Rippin clean. Coaches have said that a lot. That you guys need to protect him better. What's what's the biggest thing that that's maybe breaking down or or, or needs well, to be One, I mean, it's like they're not they're not getting sacks on him, but we just got to finish. I mean, we're letting him get late hits because we're not finishing our blocks, and Ronnie's throwing it, or we're uh, having miscommunication, or we're sending. It slide to some of the, to the wrong side and cutting people free when really when you go back and look at on film you're like, oh gosh, like that's easy to see now when we're on film. So we just gotta be, you know, have better awareness and communicate better and just make sure we pick it up and finish. I know a couple times already uh, teams have you know brought more than you guys could block and, and he's made them pay for that. He's taken a hit but he's made them pay for that. What yeah. you know what's that mean to you guys when, when in a situation like that when he steps up set you know, we practice that and Rippin's smart. Rippin's a smart guy, so he knows. And he knows who he's hot off, and he knows, you know. But at times, there's even been times where they've brought a lot of guys. Where the offensive line should be able to buy back and take that, you know, take that head off of him. With uh, you know, the, the ground game has been clicking a little bit more in terms of explosive plays. Uh, over the last two games, I want to say you guys have about 14 explosive runs or, or something like that. Um, what, what do you feel is starting to kind of uh, help, help that? Get more, you know, explosive. I guess. Let me see. If you if you watch film, if you look at it, it's it's this close every time. Mm -hmm. We've just been it's one detail here, one detail there, and on those big runs that we're having, we're you know we're cleaning up those details, and you see they're there. You know, our right tailbacks have been being great. They've been making people miss. You mm -hmm. know, it's like get to that second level, you make one guy miss, and it's an explosive run. Yeah, I know. Just, that. Everybody's just doing that much better, mm -hmm. and we're coming along as a group, and we're emphasizing it a little more. I know you probably you guys probably liked it down by the goal line and, and you know show who's more physical, but at the same time on, on a run like Jeremy's fifty six yard touchdown run, when you can have your running back go fifty six yards and virtually be untouched, what, what does that mean for for you guys to watch? Oh, that that's run? great. I mean, uh, be, just being able to, I mean, we just it's a big gash in the middle of the field, you know, they it's just perfectly blocked, mm -hmm. and we take that as pride when you know J Mac can run from back and he can go. 60 yards without being touched, that means everybody's blocked. And, um, you just sense a pride thing. You know, it's the O-line's dream. 
much have, rather have a 60 yard uh, run than a 60 yard throw. As much as I love <laughs> throwing touchdowns, I'd much rather run them. Um, you look at, uh, you know, uh, the running backs and, and their ability to kind of get, a, it seems like a, as the season's progressed, they've gotten a little more physical and are, are picking up more, uh, you know, yards after contact. And, and uh, I know Kelsey's been a guy that seems like he's been, he's doing that really well since the beginning. But um, when you guys turn around and you see a guy like Kelsey, you know, keeping his legs going and there's a pile there. And, and oh, it motivates you. Yeah. That motivates you a lot. And, you know, I see it with like J Mac, Devin, and all of them. They're, they just needed experience, you know. They hadn't played much, and they just needed experience and be able to. Now they're starting to get a little rhythm. And they're seeing the speed that they need to play at. They're just finishing better. Mm -hmm. You guys, uh, you know, one thing that seems to have you know, been kind of a weird quirk this year is like the third and one, the fourth and one that you guys have struggled with. It when you look at, it, is there a common theme or just kind of one thing here, one thing there that keeps yeah, coming it's up? One, it's one block every time. It's one little thing that put you in your head from here to here, stopping penetration. As offensive line, that's one thing we got to preach is when we get in short yards, we got to get it. So, you know, that's been a little bit of disappointment. That's something we've been focusing on that we got to clean up because, you know, us five should have no problem getting one yard. You know, with the tight ends, running backs, we should have no problem calling whatever the coaches call. We should be able to execute it and get a yard. You're, you know, a month or so into this now at right tackle, you getting comfortable? You, you, you feeling, feeling like that's home now? I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <laughs> Definitely a lot more comfortable than the first couple games. Yeah. Um, starting to feel it, just get training my eyes because it's a little different speed out there. You know, a guard, you're on the guy right away. Tackle, you got a little more room to work with. <clears throat> you got a little other areas you got to look at. So yeah. Halfway through the season now, what uh, what are you happiest with about the, this offense and this team, and what's maybe the biggest room for growth that you see, you know, going forward? What I'm happy to see about is that uh, when we struggled early. Nobody like doubted the plan that the coaches put for us. They, uh, you know, we just kept executing, kept believing in it. You know, Coach Harson always talks about conviction, having conviction in, in the game plan. We just kept having conviction, and you know, we didn't. We took that loss to BYU, but we bounced back the next week and we put on a, one of the best performances we've had on offense here in a while. Uh, so, sorry. Yeah, you good? <laughs> bad. I didn't mean to come off. Uh, Co Coach Harson was saying that uh, you know, he, he counts on. Uh, a lot of you guys have that FBI or football intelligence or whatnot. And I'm assuming there's not too many times that an offensive lineman might bring a, a play to him, and maybe you guys do. But have, have you seen you, your teammates or, or anybody get get a little creative and uh, and go to him with ideas? Because he says that it, you know it happens. I don't know what the skill guy is doing or anything, but we uh, we just like telling him we want to run the ball. That's one thing we like to run the ball. I'm not really sure what the skill guys be talking about in their skilled meetings. So. He, he comes in there, we always tell him, you know, we want to run the ball. Mm -hmm. uh, that's our uh, special place, is run the ball. Is, is, it, is it cool that he listens to you guys, though, and, and asks for feedback? And, and, you know, there's obviously some type of accountability oh, on you guys great. to coach yourself. Yeah, it's great. I mean, Coach Harson be able to listen to us, but he knows, you know, he's just working with us. And that makes the relationship with us, and makes, that's what makes our offense so great. That's what makes it so great. It's just, you know, having Coach Harson with the relationship and everything makes it great. Oui.